Chapter 16, The Girl. The girl sees Jules wave. In a reckless moment, she waves back. Frightened by what she's done, she ducks away in the shadows. She still isn't sure she wants Jules to see her. After a while, she crosses the room and looks at the paintings. She's been avoiding them. They make her both ang sad and angry. A strange mix, she thinks. Slowly, she turns the ones facing the wall around so she can see the man and the woman. She stares into their painted eyes. They want to speak to her. They have something to tell her, something important. She waits patiently for them to open their mouths. She's used to waiting. She's used to being patient, but they remain silent. She touches their faces. I'm sorry, I don't remember who you are. They don't answer. Next, she notices a portrait of a yellow-haired girl wearing a pale blue dress. She's sitting in the shade of a tree that has a long, drooping branches. Her bare feet dangle over the stream. She holds a doll in her lap. She knows that she has been in that exact place, but she can't remember when. She stares in the yellow-haired girl's painted eyes. The girl also has something to tell her, but like the man and the woman, she doesn't speak. I knew you once, she tells the painted girl. A long time ago, before... She hesitates. Before what? She continues to walk around the room, looking at the paintings. Many show the same three people. Some are portraits. Others show the woman and the girl with the yellow hair going about their daily life. She finds several pictures of her house. It might be the one in which she's trapped. Summer, fall, winter, and spring. Flowers and gardens and a swing in a tree. Snow and bare trees. Trees with leaves of gold and red. The artist must have lived in this house once. Why else had he painted it so often? The girl studies the landscape. She counts the cows and the sheep in the pictures. Dim memories stir. The smell of hay in the barn. The large brown eyes of the cows. Milk spurting into a pail. The scents comfort her. Last of all, she turns to the drawings scribbled on the wall. The poorly done. Childish. Clumsy. They tell a story she knew once but doesn't want to know now. They do not comfort her. She turns away. Her mind is a jumble of half-formed Im images and memories. Fear hides in the shadows. She wishes she could escape into dreamless slumber.